Hey everyone, go back here with another Halo Mattel Series 1 action figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Spartan Air Assault. Now, really fast, going to say I'm a fanboy for blue and white. I love that. So right out of the package, I'm like, ah, oh, this guy's cool. <laughs> Done. And what's really nice is that he is able to hold the stinking Hydra Launcher, which a lot of the... Halo 5 Series 1 and 2 from McFarlane couldn't hold because of the way that they're designed. So, yay, he can actually hold it, and awesome. I mean, that that's, I like that. So, let's go ahead and get into the detail work. Well, let's, you know, let's cover accessories first. Let's go crazy. He comes with two weapons. You get the human pistol, and then you get the Hydra Launcher, which I have a pistol right here to compare show you that pop that off this is the Mattel pistol this is the McFarland pistol holy cow I think that this one is a little bit too big in all honesty I don't know why it's so big so let's actually go ahead and try to find out let's go ahead and pop this other hydro launcher out of his hand come on let go of it gosh do what I say I'm the master so I'll go ahead and put this in his hand. Maybe. Not really want the hole. There we go. There we go. So maybe they made it so large to try to make it easier for you to be able to get it into his hands. Maybe that's what they were thinking. Because, you know, some of the stuff that McFarlane made looked fantastic. May have been even in the perfect scale. But the way that they designed the hands, and because the hands aren't a real person hand that can, you know, be manipulated and do stuff. They couldn't really hold it. So at least he can't hold it. I know it's a little bit big because I'm trying to imagine, okay, the Spartans are really big. They're big people. Um, you know, and then the armor, it makes them bigger and everything. And then trying to imagine, okay, eventually Mattel's going to design ODST or Marines or please, please be Marines. Um, but then you're going to have these really huge weapons in what's hopefully a smaller figure in order to make the Marines look shorter than the Spartans, please. So hopefully that happens. Uh, the Hydra Launcher here, I do also have one of the McFarlane ones, and you can see that it is very different, very different. I will say that this Hydra Launcher here for the Mattel line is probably the best painted gun out of the whole series, and I have all six of the figures. This is definitely the best painted. I mean, it's got a little bit of gold in here. Yeah, zoom in, not out of the light, though. Come on, go back. Not the first time. All right, a little bit of gold here, the green, the, the, the decals, the different colors here for the gun. I like this. This is definitely the best-looking gun so far out of the Mattel line. All right, so even though McFarlane's got really nice ones, too, I'm, I'm happy with that. So let's look at the paint job and the detail work of... Spartan. Um, quick note, I noticed that uh, there's a piece of his <laughs> armor missing. This was how it was in the packaging and I noticed it before I opened it. It's actually supposed to be like just completely filled in right there and it's not. So I contacted uh, Mattel and told them like, hey, could you maybe just send me like another front chest piece? That'd be cool. You know, doing reviews and stuff. Hopefully we can send it. And if they do, I'll follow up in another video and, and say if they did or if they didn't, just so you guys kind of know the right way to um, contact Mattel if something like that also happens to you. So, uh, detail. It's pretty nicely sculpted. This is uh, a nicely sculpted figure. Um, I would s probably compare him to Master Chief. Master Chief is pretty well uh, sculpted, but the paint job, you know, for all of these guys is very basic. Now, for the multiplayer Spartans, like the, the blue Air Assault and the red Helio Skrill Spartan, they're more clean, I would say. Like, I'm okay that he's, like, completely blue and not really, like, scuffed up because I would imagine that, you know, he's for multiplayer. There's some of the Spartans still in training. Um, it's just multiplayer. It doesn't have to look real gritty. But, like, Master Chief, Linda, they need to look dirtier because they are from the campaign, and Master Chief wasn't. And that was a downside, that he was very clean, painted looking, and not, like, battle-worn. This guy, I'm okay with him being pretty much just blue with some white. That's okay. I'm fine with that. I think it works. So, um, you know, I like the helmet. 
chest armor, everything's pretty decent. I like it. Only thing I don't like is that Mattel still does has these uh, like big gaps here for the feet for the Spartans. I don't really like that. I wish it was just like solid, um, if anything, just to kind of hide it. But because sometimes the like you can see the toe sort of sticks out a little bit. And I mean, I can sit there and I can fight with it, but it's kind of just like that. So maybe it's better because if this was a flat piece of plastic, um, a lot of the armor pieces for the Mattel line are very, they're squishier. They're not as rigid as McFarlane, so maybe it would kind of make the foot kind of be bent instead of be flat. So maybe this is better. Eh, we'll see. So articulation, start at the head, as always. You always start at the top. Um, can look up and down. Sideways, you can actually see there's some motion on a ball joint. That's good. The arm, lift the arm up all the way. Da da. Put it back down. All right. Can rotate at the bicep. Get a little bit of range of motion there. Can bend at the elbow. Mm, can it? Yeah, that should. I don't know why you're fighting me. Oh, uh, I see why. No, I don't. See, it can bend at the elbow. <laughs> And it can bend down. The elbow does work. It's just being really stubborn on this one, you stupid. Uh, it can also rotate at the bi or not the bicep, the forearm can rotate entirely all the way around. The hands swivel and can flip 360. Um, in order to be able to put the forearm armor on when you first open the, the package, you do have to just pop out the hands. They just pop straight out and not a big deal. Uh, can bend at the waist, rotate side to side so you can get a, a decent-ish you know, range of motion. That's the leg kicked all the way back. All of the male Spartans have this big butt that kind of stops anything else from happening. Um, that's all the way forward. Bring it back down. Double knee joint. Not as good of a range of motion out of this one as with some of the others. I, I don't know why, but... And then... Uh, bend at the ankle and then you can also twist the foot all the way around see yeah 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 the stupid shoes Urgh. get the shoes back on there we go um just as a thing to kind of point out when i was putting on the armor that you have to put on when you first open the package most uh, oh, so far, all the other Spartans, and I've opened them all now. All the other Spartans, you put on the front piece of the armor and then the back on the legs, on the calf. With this one, his butt armor, get back on there, little bag. This little bag doesn't have a very long peg, so it doesn't really like fit the best, but it does get it. I just wish it was a little bit longer. But anyway, here on the calf, you actually have to put the back armor on first on the calf and then the front of the leg after if you try doing it the other way it's not going to work and i was really frustrated and thought maybe it was broken or maybe it wasn't uh molded correctly or something but it was fine it just was user error it was my fault um the other piece that i forgot to mention earlier that he does come with is part of the alpha crawler all the figures in series one of the mattel halo line the six inch line they all come with a piece to build the alpha uh, alpha crawler this is like his spines for his back so that'll be cool to do the review for that all right so let's do some other things in scale to see this is the halo 5 master chief and this is the sh figure arts super mario so uh the blue spartan aerosol will come in at probably just about exactly six inches that's all the spartans are like exact six inches while most of the uh, Halo 5 Spartans are actually more like 5.5 five inches. And then Mario, you just need it tiny and cute. Anyway, so in summary, cons. For me, I got a piece of the, the front armor mes missing. That's no good. Don't really like that. Um, that's pretty much it. He's pretty good other than that. Um, I like the sculpt. I like the paint job. I feel like maybe it's just me justifying it. I hope I'm not doing that as a reviewer. I really want you guys to, to trust what I say and that, you know, at least get my opinion and, and if you guys value it, if you want to disregard it, whatever. But I, I try to be um, honest. And I, I don't mind the paint job. 
I really don't. But maybe you guys do. Um, let me know down in the comment section which of the figures do you think is the best painted, or and you know, and which of your which of the weapons do you think is the best? I really think that this is the best looking weapon so far out of the the Mattel line. I like this one, and I like that he can hold it, which hopefully means that Master Chief and the Red Helio Skrill can also hold it. <laughs> That'd be great. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and commenting, and subscribing. I've included a link down in the description. For you to be able to purchase this figure through Amazon, if you want, that's a place to be able to buy it and get it delivered to you rather than having to go out and hunt it down, hopefully, and trying to find it. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. And, you know, if you like this video and, and you want to see more, please consider uh, supporting this channel through Patreon. Uh, you can help support as low as $1 a month, and it would help a lot to be able to help make more videos come out. Anyway, guys, thank you again, and I'll talk to you all later.